Hey everybody, it's Brigzil here, and I'm doing some more World of Tanks. Now, we're in the Type 64, uh, doing another scouting run. This time we've got ourselves a little Tier 7 battle. Um, this time I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive with what I'm going to do. Initially, though, I will be spotting, but eventually I will start to cr become more and more aggressive, especially uh, when I decide that it's time to be... Um, aggressive so we'll find out shall we let's have a quick let's get this moving so let me just pause it there now what is going to happen I am going to do whatever I can to make sure that our spotting area or our area here isn't taken by the enemy so I'm going to move all the way around and I'm going to sit about there there's a bush there you can sit next, sit in, and you won't be able to be seen unless you fire. Simple as that. Especially with when your skills are up on the tank, there's just nothing you can do about it. I'm not even going to bother telling you what the enemy does. You'll see for it for yourself. Let's go. So let's move it on a little bit. We don't need to worry about this. Blah blah blue bling. I'm going to move directly for that little hillock there. I'm going to sit in a bush. That is what I'm going to do. I have, at this point, i just like to add that I am now with six cents, so I do know when I've been spotted, which adds another layer to this tank. Um, I've also got 100% camouflage in all areas on this tank, which means that this tank is fully camoed. To the best of its ability. This tank can't get any better. Even with uh, Brothers in Arms, which is the, one of the skills you can get, you can't make it any better than it is. So I can sit in this bush all day, and unless they come within a square of me, they won't see me. Regardless of how good they are. So the first thing I see is the AMX-12T. Now I get worried because he's got Cam on himself, and he looks like he may be a good player, until he stops and just does a little weird kind of let's have a dance a bit sort of thing he doesn't see me because I haven't had a thing pop up uh, and we've got a Cromwell in play let me just get rid of it out of this view and come to a wider view so the JP4 comes into play Cromwell is in play and you've noticed as normal I'm not shooting regardless of what I can see what I can actually shoot at because all these tanks I could probably penetrate especially the light tank and the Cromwell the SU-100 is now come into play the AMX-12T is still roaming about getting a little bit of scouting work done he's very mobile rather than sitting doing nothing which is exactly what I'm doing sitting doing nothing and it works for me JP4 takes a bit of hit. KV1 now comes into play. And it's all quiet. AMX12 goes down. KV1 is in play and the Cromwell is also in play. SU100 is also sitting there doing nothing. All these tanks have been scouted by me, by the way, just just to give you a heads up there. So as you can see, they're all taking damage, which is going right into my account, basically. Now let me just pause it here. Now there's a reason why I shot at this point. At this point, there is only one tank that could probably see me, and that is the Cromwell, somewhere in this location here. Now if I'm lucky, my shot didn't disturb my camouflage too much. Just for the sake of it, I, I take four shots. And I just go a bit mental at this point. Because I don't think I can be seen at this point. Let's just have a go to this view. So the SU-85 comes back to play. I miss a shot that could have killed him. 
it doesn't matter because I get that kill. The Cromwell pops in here. Now, I th it's at this point, I believe, I actually get spotted. And I'm going to do two things at this point. I'm going to move back, as you do, below the line of the hill. And I'm going to take three hits of damage there. Now, as far as I'm led to believe, the KV, uh, sorry, the E25s, I think it is, they tank E25, but all th two of the, the two of them are sitting somewhere down there, in that area down there, probably by the house, and they both shot at me and a th third shot. So one shot, then another shot, and then the, th the first one shot again. So that's why I took three hits like that. Any other tank would have probably killed me because it's the E25. I got a bit lucky. So I'm going to sit for a few seconds, let all the fire go down, and then resume that spot again. So I'm now realizing that the that the people on the left here are moved up. So I'm not doing anything here at this point. I'm I'm not scouting anything. So I need to move up really. And that's what I do. I move up. And this is where things start to pop up out of nowhere. The E twenty fives both pop up, and I just decide that I've 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 done enough scouting. It's time to do a bit of damage. So I'm gonna do as much damage as possible because I can penetrate these tanks in most circumstances. Now, at this point, he knows that I'm here. I've stopped that quite nicely. I'm almost certain he knows that I'm here, which means that I get hit. And I have to make evasive maneuvers, and the only evasive maneuvers I can think of is to move to the left. Now what happens is the E25, I believe, decides that he wants to come at me and try and take me on. Unfortunately for him, the people around me don't want to let that happen. So, so he takes out the VK, then hits me. I sit here and then move. I, sh I basically shoot and move. And I just hope that nothing else shoots at me. IS goes down. E25 is now on a move. You can see him you can see him now start to move towards me. Unfortunately for him, he will get shot. He'll get tracked and then he will get shot. Boom. AMXAC46. Thank you very much. So, there are only five tanks left. I know where, f where four of them are. Basically. I know where four of them are. It's just the uh, artillery piece that I don't know where. I had a little sit and rest there. Don't know why. Just had a, had a little bit of rest. And now I'm going to go at it again. My job really is to find out where the E25 is. And to take it out. Also to find where the KV-1 is. Because both of those tanks can easily take me out very quickly whereas the the artillery piece uh, it'd have to be lucky to hit me because I'll be moving quite quickly so let's see what happens so the KV-1 appears right here where he's been pretty much the whole of the, the battle and my job is to do as much damage as possible in the rear and the sides of his armor because I won't be able to penetrate his front armor and if possible obviously for the other two players who are sitting in the cap to shoot him as well so we'll see what it does I went round to the front I made sure at this point to go off because his turret was almost in position so he could shoot me luckily enough for me someone does nothing and I get the final kill. The E25 goes down on the other hand which is fine and the final kill of the day goes to me myself and I get a bit lucky here he decides that he, I don't think he had a shot and it's over really and there we go let's just go to that point there so I didn't get any medals for this, I didn't get a scouting medal or um, the patrol duty medal which is the one where you, if you scout six tanks that take damage, um, 
think it's six six different tanks that take damage or something like that. Um, or get killed by that damage. Then you get metal. I didn't get them. I didn't get. I all I got was a quite a high amount of experience. Base XP, XP I got 1214, which is pretty good. Uh, total, if you had the premium stuff on it, it's 1821, which is not too bad considering there's no times two or times five here. It is just a single 1821. Obviously got three nice kills. I got a decent amount of it, um, of damage. Now, you can't see this because obviously I haven't got the screenshots to show you, but the amount of damage that I do is is better than anyone else on my team. Anyone else. And I'm using what could arguably, argue, arguably, I can't even say it. Basically, it's one of the shittest weapons you can get for a tier 6 tank. Um, it does very little damage and it penetrates half decently at best at level si at tier six. So, uh, it, in a way, it's a bit embarrassing that I got this amount of damage done. But when you focus on the things that you can shoot, then it doesn't matter. It's like the Cromwell. If the Cromwell shoots in the right places, then you can do some serious damage, and that's exactly what I did. So total direct damage is 1631, as you can see. Total assisted damage is 2115, which is pretty good. Um, a total of th four spots and a total of two, four, six, seven tanks that I actually got some damage from. One of which was was a track, I believe, not an actual um, spot, as it were. So pretty good all in all i hope you enjoyed this video it wasn't it wasn't really my analysis it was more based on uh, the performance and uh, i hope to see you very very soon